Christ Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere actors. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, He's coming. Get ready. Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, Lord Yahweh Shai, he's coming. Get ready. And the Lord said, he ain't going to meet you as a man, right? Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, man. Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ is coming with the clouds, meaning the chariots of the Lord, man. The Lord is coming with the chariots, man. The innumerable amount of chariots are coming when the Lord come. And then the Lord ain't coming to bring peace. He ain't coming to talk to nobody. He ain't coming to shake hands. See, the Lord's coming to bring the smackdown upon you people, man. Well, look, why would he come talking? Let's prove that. Psalm chapter 104, verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who, who walketh upon the wings of the wind? The point being, when it says clouds, it means his chariots, what they even call UFOs, and you got more UFOs, so-called UFO sightings, than a little bit. And then on top of that, the angels are coming with the Lord, man. Let's go back, Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, Behold, which means to look, He cometh with clouds. He's coming. Get ready. Lord Yahweh Shai is coming, man. All right? And you ain't going to be able to say He's just a spirit in that day. Because you're going to actually see Him. And every eye shall see Him. And every eye shall see Him, man. And they also which pierced Him. The centurions, the Roman centurions that pierced Lord Yahweh Shawa 2,000 years ago, look, they died. And then they back, man. Reincarnation, they back, man. And they also which pierced him. And all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, our mind. And the word well is a noun. A prolonged high-pitched cry of pain, man. See, when Lord Yahweh shall crack those clouds, these people going to finally realize that they're going to be judged for all the wickedness. That's why they're going to well. That's why they're going to cry out, man. They're going to beg for mercy. They're going to scream for mercy. But won't get shown none. Remember now, you Israelites, y'all chose to ignore the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh spoken by the prophets, man, on the highways and byways and on these videos that we do each and every day. Every day. So when the Lord comes, these people are going to wail, man. They're going to howl. They're going to cry. They're going to cry of grief. They're going to moan. They're going to scream. There's going to be a whole lot of lamentations, mourners, and woes in that day, man. You know, they're, go they're going to groan, you know. Ah, oh, man. Look, look, look. Weak. Look, don't cry now. Don't cry now, man. The Lord said, look, look, once again, look, I'm not going to meet you as a man. Let's get this Psalms. Psalms chapter 68. Verse 17. Psalm chapter 68, verse 17. The chariots, what they eagerly call UFOs, right? See, when Lord Yahweh Shah was on the scene over 2,000 years ago, y'all put y'all hands on them and y'all slew them on the tree. You know, beat them, slap them, spit on them, you know, mock them. You won't be able to do that this time. It says all the kindreds of the earth shall well this time, man. Ain't gonna be no funs, ain't gonna be no games, ain't gonna be no laughing, it ain't gonna be no burgers and fringes, it ain't gonna be no partying or none of that. You know? 
This is a whole bunch of hooping and hollering, right? Psalm chapter 68, verse 17. The chariots of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, are 20,000. Even thousands of angels. Man, you can't even put a number on how many angels are coming with Lord Yahweh Shai. And the multitude of chariots that's going to be in the sky, man. Covering the whole sky, man. They're going to block out the sun. It's going to be so many chariots, man. He's coming. Get ready. The Lord, look, the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, is among them as in Sinai, in the holy place, man. So when the angels come, who's going to be leading the fleet? Lord Yahweh Shai, man, who you eagerly call Jesus, man. He's coming back to destroy, man, to kill at will. It says, I'm going to get it too. It says, the slain of the Lord shall be many. But I want to I get this first. I want to get this Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Matter of fact, I start at 6. How ye? The same thing as well. Matter of fact, let's get the definition of how. Let's get that. Let's get it. Same thing, same thing as well. It's a noun, a long, loud, doubtful cry uttered by an animal such as a dog or wolf. Just like you hear a wolf yelling or a dog yelling, you people gonna be yelling, howling, moaning, crying, you know? Just like a dog or a wolf in the middle of the night, man. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6. How ye, for the day of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is at hand. He is coming. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. See, when Lord Yahweh Shai came on the scene the first time, he came teaching, came preaching the kingdom of heaven. But our people refuse to take heed. Just like now, they refuse to take heed. But this time, he's coming to put the smack down on them. Therefore, shall all hands be faint. And every man's heart, meaning his mind, shall melt. Because he ain't going to know what to do. It's going to be so bad. All the tough guys going to lay it down. It ain't going to be no thug with it. I wonder where the thug's going to be at in that day. You know? Therefore, shall all hands be faint. And every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. When this day comes, they shall be afraid, man. Afraid. Terrified, right? Terrified. Pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. But oh yeah, you got people telling us something. The day of the Lord is all about love. They can't wait to see the Lord. When the scriptures say, War to you that desire the day of the Lord, right? To what end is for you? You've been wicked all your life. You someone you desire the day of the Lord? Come on, man. You you must be smoking some. Pains and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Because the Lord come on with those chariots shooting the laser beams. And simultaneously the ICBM missiles are going to be hitting this place, man. Behold, the day of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, cometh. Crew, both with wrath and fierce anger. To lay the land desolate. Meaning this land, America, is going to be desolate when the Lord comes. Meaning uninhabited by Hermes, right? And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. See, the Lord is coming with vengeance, man. Okay? The Lord is coming with vengeance. The Lord is going to be real violent when he come back. He ain't coming for love. He ain't coming for hugs. You know, uh, look, uh, none of that nonsense. He bringing them plagues with him. Meaning them missiles. The Lord said he's going to destroy this wicked sinful kingdom from off the face of the earth with two thirds of our people in it, man. It's going to be a beautiful thing. The Lord said he's coming cruel. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15, for behold, the Lord will come with fire. You know, 
He came as a lamb the first time. This time, the scripture says he come with fire, man. And with his chariots, with the even called UFOs, like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, man. The Lord is pissed off and he's very angry. Look at how his people, the Israelites, are carrying around, man. You know? Like, they're acting like straight heathens, man. No care in the world. But you're going to care when the Lord comes. And is rebuked with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. The scriptures tell you it's going to be more people that die than get saved, man. The slain of the Lord shall be many, man. The Lord is coming to shake the heavens, man. He's, look, matter of fact, he's coming to destroy at will, man. The Lord is coming back to destroy at will. It's, look, it's not going to be a pretty thing. That's why to behoove you Israelites to turn back and get right with the God of the Bible, man. Before it's too late. Because look, we're approaching too late. You Israelites, you truly don't understand. We're approaching too late, man. Okay? We're approaching too late, man. Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. See, the Lord is coming with power this time, man. He's coming with power. He's coming to lay it down, man. He's coming to lay these people down, man. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Our power is coming, man. It will behoove you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Turn back. Turn back. Look, look. You have been warned. You have been warned, man. Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Woe means death and destruction, right? Death and destruction to you Israelites to say you can't wait for the Lord to come back and you're out here committing wicked acts, man. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is darkness and no light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, be darkness and no light? Even very dark. And no brightness in it. Meaning it ain't gonna be no light at the end of the tunnel for two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. He's coming. Get ready. Shalom.